So start with what you said we said. You are as God as it gets. Yeah, yeah. Because you are the reason that God is as God as gets. We said to Esther the other day, as she was contemplating something going on in the world, a lot going on in the world, she was contemplating some of it. And we said to her, Esther, for just a moment, breathe with us and now think, rather than thinking about what the world is as it sees you, think about how you are seeing the world. It shook her up because she'd been focused on stuff that she does not want to be a match to. She doesn't want to be a continuation of. Now, when she croaks, no worries, she won't be. Not possible to take that stuff into non-physical. There's not a vibrational realm for it. It can't be. But she could be another human doing the spin-off of man's conscious thought, worrying about this and sending rivers and streams of stuff into motion that people can pick up on. And she heard us so clearly. And she thought, I am a lover. I don't want to spread that stuff. I don't want to radiate it for a moment. I don't want to match up with one other human that's feeling that way. I don't want to be a toxic expressor of energy. I want to tune my energy in the quiet of my own experience. And I want to calibrate myself to source energy so that when I am looking out into the world, I want to see what matches the eternal nature of the world. And oh, then she and Michelle got on the airplane yesterday. Esther had been thinking about that. She meditated that morning and received that. This is yesterday got on the airplane and it was as if they stepped into a portal of loveliness. Every encounter with every person on the flight, there was, it was a Southwest flight on the flight. There was a flight attendant who was clever and funny. They often are, but he was brilliant and clever and funny and in love with everyone on the airplane. And Esther could feel it for sure. Everything that came out of his mouth was delicious to hear. Esther usually takes a nap while she flies. She didn't. She sat there and played with her coloring game and listened to everything that everybody within earshot of her was saying. And she noticed that this man who started out with the microphone set such a tone of fun and niceness and welcoming and what can I do for you? That everyone that was in Esther's earshot, everyone that spoke out was right there with him. People that have probably never been funny in their life <laughs> wanted to be funny like he was funny. And you know, he repeated their funny to the whole crowd. Esther's never had a flight like that before where on this flight, whatever was going on, was a match to that God within her. That guy certainly was. She gave him the credit for evoking it from her, although it had gotten started before she even got there. She gives Michelle credit because Michelle is the most wonderful person in the world to be with because she's happy all the time. You met her when you came in undoubtedly, or may have. The law of attraction is what's going on all the time. And once you decide that you're going to calibrate to the God within you. Then you radiate it and you give others an opportunity to calibrate to something that might be a little hard for them to see, but it was not hard to see in this flight attendant. Oh, he was awesome. When he came to ask Esther what she wanted to drink, she told him and then she said really quietly, you have set a magnificent tone on this airplane. It's just beautiful. And he just winked at her because he didn't do it accidentally. He did it on purpose. And then she listened to people playing and playing and playing. The girl that sat next to Esther was delightful. Everything about it was. And then when it was time to get off the plane, people were standing, waiting for them to open the door. It took a little longer than usual, which was just perfect for Esther because she wanted to suck up more of what was going on. And a man who had been engaging with the flight attendant quite a bit, he said to him loud enough that Esther could hear, maybe everyone could. He said, you know what you are? And the flight attendant said, no, what? And he said, 
you are what I call he said so clearly he's a philosopher that's been thinking about this stuff too you are what I call the common denominator and Esther thought he knows about matches you are the common denominator you set out intentionally to match the best of what was on this aircraft and the man didn't go on to say it and Esther thought to herself and you found it you found it so that's what God is okay and that flight attendant was as God as God is as God gets if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next